Imagination Storybooks presents Dragons Love Tacos, written by Adam Rubin, narrated by Carl Seitz, audio description narrated by Richard Riemann, and written by Bonnie Barlow, from illustrations by Daniel Salmieri. On the cover, flying dragons fill the sky above snowy mountain peaks. On the ground, in front of the mountains, a red dragon lies on its back, with a pile of tacos sitting on its belly. Tacos fill its open mouth and lie scattered around it. The title reads, Dragons Love Tacos. A purple hand lifts a silver lid off a plate, revealing a taco. Meat, cheese, tomatoes, and lettuce pile high in a golden tortilla. A purple flower sits on the plate by the taco. Hey, kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big, gigantic tacos and baby tacos as well. A brown-haired boy and dog stand in a bedroom. The boy wears a purple and white striped shirt and blue shorts. The dog wears a red collar on its light brown fur. Toy dragons sit on top of a bookshelf. A red one, a blue one, and a yellow one. They all have pointed wings, long bodies, and long spiky tails. A poster of a dragon baring its teeth hangs on the wall above a bed. Castle spires rise atop the bedposts. Toy dragons lie scattered on the floor. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. An orange dragon's hand stirs the contents of a pan on a stove with a wooden spoon. Tomatoes, onions, and peppers lie on the counter. Red chili peppers, garlic, and herbs hang on strings over the counter. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey, dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? Outside a cave with a taco cave sign, a red dragon with black horns holds a taco cave to go bag on its tail. But wait. As much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. The boy and dog look at a bowl of red salsa. Hot sauce and spicy salsa jars rest on the counter. Two chili peppers lie near the bowl. An open book stands on the counter. No Spicy Salsa, a guide to dragon cuisine by Alan Puff. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ear smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. 
A yellow check mark covers a group of red tomatoes. Tomatoes! A yellow check mark covers a pile of shredded lettuce next to a round head of lettuce. Lettuce! A yellow check mark covers shredded orange cheese next to a block of cheese. Cheese! These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. A clawed purple hand gives a thumbs up. Hey, dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? A big red dragon floats on his back in the air with his tongue lolling out of the side of his long snout. He rests his front claws on his yellow tummy. Dragons love parties! They like costume parties. An orange dragon wears a blue superhero suit with a red cape. It flexes its arms. A white dragon with black wings wears a pirate costume with a black tricorn hat. A blue dragon holds a wand and wears a blue pointy wizard hat covered in yellow stars. And pole parties! A red dragon and a yellow dragon toss a beach ball in a pool. A taco floats on the water. An orange dragon wears floaties on its arm and dips its toe in. A big red dragon lies on its back under an umbrella. They like big, gigantic parties with accordions? A red dragon and a white dragon play accordions. Colorful dragons dance. Music notes fly in the air. And tiny little parties with charades. A purple dragon acts out a monster walking stiffly with its arms out in front of it. A blue, a red, and a green dragon watch. The green dragon guesses. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots and lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos, pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. A boat named the SS Taco rests on the sand near a house. An anchor hangs from its side to the sand. It is filled with tacos. The boy pushes a cart full of tacos toward the house on a path. The dog drags a bag full of tacos. Around the path and door are containers filled with tacos and ingredients like onions, tomatoes, and lettuce. Tacos spill out of a pair of blue pants. Hey, Dragon, are you excited? For the big taco party? A smiling blue dragon holds an invitation to a taco party for dragons and marks off a day on a calendar. A taco wearing sunglasses decorates the calendar. Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, Get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, 
berry. The spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. Dragons stand in a line at the house's front door with their invitations. In the backyard, the boy and dog bury salsa in the ground. Perched on the top of the roof, a very large green dragon peers into the upstairs windows. Tacos fill the house. These dragons love your taco party! They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos! Congratulations! Inside the house, dragons eat tacos at long tables. One dragon juggles tacos while hovering over a table. Taco balloons float around everyone. One yellow dragon wears a t-shirt that says, I heart tacos. It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy... The boy watches one dragon hand another one a jar of salsa. He gasps. Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print? On a label on the jar, totally mild salsa in small print, now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Green specks float in the red salsa. Dragons! Listen to me! Do not eat those tacos! Those little green specks in the salsa? Those are jalapeno peppers! They are super spicy! I know you love tacos, dragons, but you're not going to love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. The dragons eat the tacos. The dog barks. The boy holds up his hand. Too late. The dragons breathe fire all over the house. Flames shoot everywhere. Smoke rises to the ceiling. The boy and dog hide under a table. Scorch marks mar the walls. Smoke rises from a purple dragon's nostrils. A red dragon holds a flaming taco. A white and black dragon spews fire. The boy raises his arms and gapes. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. Dragons build the frame of a new house. They carry planks and nail in wall boards. Dragons gather around a table covered in tacos. The boy directs a dragon carrying planks. The dog sleeps curled up by the table. After all, dragons love tacos. The boy tosses a taco high into the mouth of the red dragon with black horns. The dog wags its tail. The way to a dragon's heart is always through his stomach. The white dragon with black wings and horns flies. It carries a bag from Taco Cave. A blue dragon balances on its tail. The white dragon tosses a taco into the blue dragon's mouth. This has been Dragons Love Tacos. Written by Adam Rubin. Narrated by Carl Seitz. Audio description narrated by Richard Riemann. And written by Bonnie Barlow.
from illustrations by Daniel Salmieri. This has been a production of Imagination Storybooks at imaginationstorybooks.org.